Here we are. Back again. No. Hunting down a distress beacon. You know, distress beacons so we you you know, distress beacons usually mean trouble. Yes, that's kind of what it means, yeah. So what are we about to get ourselves into? Trouble, probably. Well, they had a... T there's the bodies. They had a tank. Hmm. And here I thought it was a clash landing. No, that is a... Grizzly, I think it's called. You only see a couple... Oh, you only no. ever see a couple of them, so... It's hard to know. Hmm. Hello! Crusher Maul! That... That's a pretty good reason for the distress beacon, yes. I don't think that's the kind of thing you could beat outside. <laughs> I mean, it's possible, it's just extremely difficult. I guess you could technically leave it like super low on HP and then. Oh, that's exactly the point. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> hey, that thing's worth some HP. Well, yes. But gotta stay moving, because if it comes up underneath the Mako, it's an insta kill. Yeah, like that. Oh. Well, damn. <laughs> Just. Wait to prove your own point. <laughs> I thought I was moving quick enough, but I guess he decided to come up in the exact same spot. Okay. Pressure mall, round two, electric boogaloo. I mean, it never strikes twice in the same spot. Pressure's ma pressure mass, however. Do not follow the same rules. Literally. Thusher Malls, however, are assholes. Yeah, let's not be specific here. Most people like. Okay. I guess that's also an insta kill. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually what never is? had that happen. What is this now, Dark Souls? Nah. Okay, round three. Darshos is way more afraid about the insta kills. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, driving up to the several ton worm thing was probably a bad idea from the get go. Well, yes! Jesus. Yeesh. Got some unusual traffic today, don't you? Then I close the window. And this is why we usually record at night. It's also one of the main reasons why I haven't exactly been streaming. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah can kinda too hot to close the window for long whoa, periods of time. Whoa, whoa, time to go, time to go, time to go. <laughs> that was close. What even the fuck? I'm actually missing targets. So I've noticed. Oh, hello. Oh, overkilled it. Oh. And it just j just disappeared. Just disintegrated. Just in case. Well, that was the thing. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. So the beacon was already here when they got here. So I can't just break the beacon. Well, you killed the treasure man, so it's probably fine. Maybe. Well, while we're here, it's a shame to leave the rest of the stuff un uncollected. Mm -hmm. That's a good indication that treasure mouse might actually be intelligent. Because so let's be honest, it probably would have just wrecked the beacon otherwise. Mm. Or the, uh, or, the be or the beacon just didn't do anything to set it off. Yeah, that too, but if it's an even remotely decently intelligent creature, it can tell, oh, more people come looking for this thing. 
I don't think threshers are exactly what you would call intelligent. Well, to be fair, they even cut some dogs can learn things like that. Yeah. And again, not every thresher mall I've ever encountered can be considered to have the same level of intelligence. Yeah. Most like not all cats and dogs have the same level of intelligence. Don't even get me started on some of the dogs I've known. Some of them mm. are clever. There's cats too. So, on average, I've seen more clever cats than I have clever dogs. Well, on average, yes. But I've also seen some pretty stupid cats. Dead Slarian. Oh my. Shit. I Captain guess he was a bit too curious. How it ended up here hmm. is impossible to know for sure. Well, at least he didn't get eaten by a Thresher Maw. Yeah. This ball is still intact after all. He probably ran the, the farthest. <coughs> Dad or die from dehydration. Oh, you know, exfociation. Yeah. He didn't exactly have a dumb. helmet. Oh uh, yeah, good point. I didn't mean to do that actually. Eh, peoples. Clenched my mouse. And <laughs> the Mako seems to have taken a little bit of damage. Eh, just a tiny bit. You it's know, fine. All of the wheels and half of the nose. Yeah, but. I don't think there's more enemies in this map from what I saw of the map. I won't remember. Fuck. Well, oh. I mean, you did level up, right? Uh. Oh, I did. Hopefully, that's enough. We'll find out. Is it just running meteorites? Yep. Damn it. Electronics is still too oh. low. Oh well. Let's grab the shiny rocks and get out of here. Three deposits. Yeah, would be a shame though. And Maybe we'll remember to come back for it. Not likely. It's just random loot. Yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> there will be plenty more where that came from. Yep. Lithium. Whatever that's gonna be used for. Fuck. Eh, probably like batteries or something. Hey, as long as they don't, they don't, the batteries don't explode. Looking at you, Samsung. It was Samsung, right? Had the exploding batteries. Uh. Was Wasn't that Apple? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I forget. It was a while ago. Oh. You know, that's a good question. Do corporations like Apple still exist in the Mass Effect universe? They what? Like, do corporations oh. like Apple still exist in the Mass Effect universe? It wouldn't surprise me. Probably not exactly. Probably not exactly Apple. But... I mean, you see, all these company names get thrown around. Elcos, Combine, Searcher Foundation... But... They're all just obviously made up. There's no indication that, like, Apple existed. Or anything like that. Yeah, I'm sure I mean, I won't complain if Apple, you know, crashed at some point in the next hundred years. But I'm also extremely spiteful towards Apple in general. I promise you I intended to do that. Hmm. Don't know what that is. Listen, when they say this thing handles like a drunk rhino, they ain't kidding. They ain't kidding. Keep climbing, just keep climbing, just keep climbing. And also, when you say it's like a Skyrim horse, you ain't kidding. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason I need the comparison. Eh. Okay. 
okay. Polonium, whatever the fuck that is. Hmm. I'm sure we'll find a use for it. The other is using the codex. Someone will find a use for it. Not us, though. Yeah. It's not our you. Let's finish checking the cluster out and then we can go somewhere else. Yay! Hyman's hydrogen! I'm sure there's a use for that. Yeah. I think that's all of it. Should we go let her sister now that her sister is dead? Mm, maybe. What's my paragon stat at? Well, not paragon, but. I have charm 8. And let's wait a little bit longer. Specifically to get more charm. Let's go the one up here first. Okay, that is main story, so let's go over here. Fair enough. Not to the story part. Yeah. On one side, the Paragon and Renegade system That's is kind of in. interesting. On the other side, it means I can do everything in one run. So what you're saying is we should go literally everywhere else first? No, it's a side quest. We should do it. Oh, okay. That's fine then. Level 1 Toxic Hazard. Eh, how bad could it be? And you have to do this, not continue forgetting to get back into... <laughs> Yeah, because apparently everything is a form of symbiotic life. Hmm. It's not grass you're seeing. It's algae. Oh. Mosses, algae, and lichen. So things that can the latch onto you. Yeah. And supposedly you just kind of go into system shock if you uh, in inhale it. Not surprising. Caden. Mm -hmm. I haven't taken Caden out okay. for a while. Okay. Bombs away! And by bombs we mean shepherd. <laughs> Fair enough. Gold. There's gold in them dar hills. Hmm. What's the X mean? The X? That one. That's where the that's where the probe is. Oh. So that's where we're gonna go on our scavenger hunt. Cause it'd be too simple for it to all be in one piece. Of course. Why would it be in one piece? It's a red drone after all. Can I have a head count of the number of players who went into this thinking that they're just gonna walk over here, pick up the memory core, and walk out? <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Because if that count is more than zero, we have an issue. Uh, come on, you put too much faith, too much faith in humanity. <sighs> I hate that you're saying something correct. Please be silent. Nope. Yeah, I knew I was gonna get that reaction. Especially since we're recording. That's an interesting color for gold. Yeah, it's very, very not gold. No shit. Heavy metal. That's funny, there's no mechs here. 
Okay, so I thought the world wasn't exactly among the heaviest, but okay. Uh, I think it means atomically. Uh, Which I yeah. can't say either way if gold is a heavy metal or not atomically. Yeah, well, it would make more sense. It's not, I think, uh, the Minecraft might be one of the few games that actually... Portrays it realistically? Yeah, it's like, yeah. gold well, isn't all that good for combat. What have here? It's like a monkey what? of some sort. This is the surveillance Sorry, drone, but where's the data module? <laughs> one of the monkeys made off with it. So it would seem. Monkey colonies! Oh boy! That's quite a few of them. Let's, ch let's try to cluster first. Yeah, who knows? You might get lucky. Me? Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Right? Now must be careful not to splatter, blast, or shoot any of the monkeys, because that gets your renegade points. Oh. And I'm trying to avoid that here. That seems difficult to do when they're that much smaller than it. The monkey does not have the module. Oh god, you have to search them all one by one. <laughs> Yeah. I feel sorry for whatever poor player that missed the right monkey and thought he had checked the entire colony and went to check all the others. Not here. Yeah. Actually, actually vague memory of it. Is that on the other side of the mountain? Oh, God's on the other side. Okay, there's a pass over here. Let's go right up. Listen, the Mako's oh, good. Intention. Listen, the Mako's good, but it ain't that good. Are you sure? Have you tried? Yes, in fact. I have a very distinct memory that the Mako cannot climb every mountain. But have you tried that mountain? Listen, I've tried a lot of mountains, expecting me to remember <laughs> them all. How many, uh, how many breads have you eaten? I mean, I can't remember what exactly Marisa answered to that one. Uh, something like, like five. I prefer Japanese food or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> how many slices of bread have you eaten? Uh, five actually. It just. Prefer a little. Oh. I know they do try. That was close. <laughs> what is that thing? This? It's a, it's a mining shaft. So I see. Let's see if there's anything in here. It's the monkey boss. He has the monkey. <laughs> he is about to get it taken away from him. There are monkeys down here, though. Which begs the question, how the hell did I get, get down here, since, you know... Tiny hole in the colony, maybe. Ooh. I think I can open. Loot! It would be a mess if there was actually like a big angry boss monkey. This place isn't about to turn into a firefight. Totally. Alright, now I remember this is the one where there's the actual 
way to boost your Paragon up. Hmm. We could take advantage so of that. So you ended up making it here anyway. Yeah, I kind of didn't remember which one it was. Now, now, now it's coming back to me. Mineshaft, monkey. How do I do that? Mm. So it must be over here. Do you have it? No. Do you have it? No. Hmm. But there's more loot. Do I have to search every bloody monkey in this place? Maybe I missed you one in the other room. Quite a, you did miss quite a few. Shh, hush. Well, I think there was one right outside this door that you didn't get yeah, that one. Um, okay. Targets eliminated. Monkey? Wait, what? He dropped the data mod. Got it. Now, supposedly... Emphasis on supposedly. Oh my. How cheap is this going to be? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Kaden, you need to be leveled up. Oh, uh, yeah. Because we haven't used him since, like, the first mission, and we haven't used her yet, at all yet. Hey, Charms at 10 now. Yay! Give me that Paragon. <laughs> <laughs> Think that's enough? Yeah, probably. I'm playing entirely legit. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Fuck. Tits! Shit. Hey, that's my Excuse me, what? <laughs> hey, the door shut. That can only mean one thing. Oh look, there's red dots on my radar. How convenient. Giant monkey boss? No. How do you think they get? How do you think the monkeys got in here? Monkeys can't open doors. What do they get? Yeah, Hi that's there. uh whack. Play whack a robot. And I got fried. I guess it didn't quite work. <laughs> yeah. Hey monkey, give me my paragon back. <laughs> Kaden, Yara, give me a bit more. <coughs> Mass Effect is a perfectly balanced. Mass Effect is a perfectly balanced game with no exploits. Totally. Got it. I'm gonna save this time so I don't fuck it up again. You know, minor detail. Yeah, that might help. Can I, okay, can I open the door? Thank you. I don't know. Can Don't you, you start with me. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost shields! Ow! Hey, it well, that... uh... What? <laughs> just straight through cover. I think you just got sniped. Bruh. The game's I'm like I'm glad you saved. The game be like, I don't appreciate you using exploits. So it would seem. Counter sniping. That works though. Hi there. Fuck off. Do 
you fucking mind. You can only do something about it, it's an entirely different matter. Oh, I'm over here. Thank you, Robert Hating. No, she's not. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh! What? Kaden and Nash, Kaden and Kaden and Yara are both down. Oh, oh. Um. <coughs> they just. I didn't even manage to say good luck. <laughs> they just all stared and waited for me. Like, get ready to get some bitch. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh... I wonder, can I upgrade their armor to anything else? Uh, yeah, you haven't exactly equipped them with anything, have you? No, I haven't. That's Might sweet. be relevant. That's slightly better. Uh. Oh, she wears the OG one now, I see. No, that works. Yeah, squad. What weapons do they use? All he really uses is pistols. You. And all she can really use is pistols. So I'm gonna want to upgrade your pistols. And, uh, and I'll just give her a. I guess. Accuracy I guess boost. we didn't exactly bring a lot of combat effect in the next, huh? Nope. Because I'm to bad. To say the least. Eh, so it is our right. Was doing good at that at that one until you know all like four snipers decided to delete me at once. Now it gets this. Don't forget your powers. Oh yeah, that was Yeah, you know they might help. Oh hi there. So that actually sounds like it might be useful against things like robots. Yeah, well, I've already used mine. This might help though. Strip them of his shields. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, getting to those snipers might also be a good idea. <laughs> they are the main reason you keep dying after all. The AR is down. It's surprising she has basically yep. no shields. Ow, something hit me from- Oh, hi there! I'm sure I lost shields. Why are you even shooting it? There's no one else! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You don't look so good, uh, Liara. <laughs> good luck. Thanks. Um, hey, at least she didn't die with, with Bethesda Engine Physics. There's still more of them. Yeah. And oh. they're probably snipers. Yep, yep. I see him. Fucking hit firing a sniper like a bastard. I mean, the robots, they can do whatever the hell they want. Okay. That ain't even a fucking sniper rifle, that's an assault rifle. We'll oh, get them. That could have gone better. Yeah, well, at least it went. Not taking a chance. Walk out of that. Walk out of this mine shaft. There's another death ambush. Wouldn't surprise me. There we go. <sighs> okay. Let's get out of here. Conveniently placed medikits. <laughs> yeah. Very useful. Probably gonna need more of those. Right. That was unpleasant. Mm -hmm. You and your entire species caused this. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright. Well, you got the thing at least. Yeah. And you just have to... Grab the rest of the random stuff in the area. Yep. At least you can ignore the other monkey code on this, right? Unless I just want to blow them all to hell. Which, don't get me wrong. It's yeah. Tempting. Uh, Very tempting it might be. I don't know how many Renegade points does it give you. I don't know. Also, do we need to stop the recording? Mm, we can finish this area. Yeah, sounds good. <coughs> what do we have here? Random debris. Loot. Loot! Shit. Shit! 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 Fuck! Well, Listen, I know I'm... I don't get it actually. Listen, I know I'm bad, you don't have to remind me. And I just run the damn thing over. It deserves it. Uh, that is not the button I want to push. Close enough. Not that way. Don't think I can make it up this way. Gonna try. Oh, I can go up that way. Yeah. At least I think I can. Since you can. Listen, six wheel drive gives you a lot of traction. Yep. That's kind of the point. As long as I don't use the jump jets. <coughs> Yeet myself. Yeah, that's just gonna. <laughs> That would not be very effective. Why are you looking at them? Look at just, it. just snipe them one. Fuck you, Neil Armstrong. <coughs> what? I think that was actually a thing you could do in like one of the Halo games. So you could, you could see the moon or see a moon. Is shoot at it with a sniper rifle and it'll pop up saying you sniped Neil Armstrong. Or some shit like that. I don't know. I, okay, meant, to then. Do, I meant to do that. Um, okay, here we go. <laughs> what? Huh? I thought you laughed. <laughs> I mean, I can understand people's complaints about the terrain constantly bouncing you around. Yeah, I guess. Could you imagine trying to actually drive in one of these? It, it, it would be rather shaky. That's a word for it. Another word for it would be... Um, Let's hope you have a lot of cautions in there because you're going to be really bothered otherwise. Hope you're not susceptible to motion sickness. I mean, I guess there's that too. Or, you know susceptible to hitting your head on basically any part any part of the interior. Yeah. Because you're gonna be doing that a whole lot. Warning, rides in the Mako may end in combat or mild concussion. Possibly both. In fact it usually ends in the mild concussion regardless. <laughs> You might be lucky to only have a mild concussion. <laughs> so if you're lucky, it's just a mild concussion. What if you're unlucky? Yeah. Uh, brain damage. Brain damage? Drain damage. Drain damage. Well, what have we here? Oh my. It's not a, an order deposit. No, it looks thingy. Prothean ruin. Oh my! Well, let's see what we have here. Same mini game. Because of course it is. Get a thing. <clears throat> Examining the strange Prothean artifact reveals a small, irregular slot on the underside of the surface. Remembering the strange trinket you received from the Asari consort on the Citadel, you pull it out and place it in the slot. The ball explodes in a brilliant flash of white light, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. Slowly, your senses return as you wake from a deep sleep. 
You are alone in the forest, though you are not far from the caves you share with the others of your tribe. There is pain and a small lump in the back of your skull, as if a chip of flint has been forced under the surface of your skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upward, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the birds you hunt by the lake's edge. It has no head and no wings, yet somehow it flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. You sense it is watching you, studying you. Raising a hairy fist, you shake your spear at it in anger, and a creature rises up quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to your caves and with the, and the rest of the tribe. You fall into the familiar patterns of life. The hunt for food, the struggle to claim and keep a mate, the battles against other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights and back into days. Each time you rise from sleep, there is the sensation you are not alone. That some other is with you, sharing all you see, hear, and feel. At these times, your hand goes to a strange lump at the back of your skull, and you remember the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder, winter falls, you must range farther for food, clutching the furs tied against you to ward off the chill. It is on one of these long hunts that the strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it, its call a deafening roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens on the underbelly, a glowing red orb. You try to run, but a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you, and all goes back again. You wake an instant later to find yourself on Elatinia, lying on your back, the Prothean artifact looming above you undamaged, and your companion standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There's a flash of light, and you're just sort of toppled over, one explains. You okay, Shepard? The other asks. You don't answer right away, wondering at the implications of what you have seen. The memories of a Cro-Magnon hunter, com captured by an implanted Prothean data recorder. How long did they study the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing the results at their mar base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you finally reply, realizing this is a mystery you will probably never solve. Forget about it. It's just about, it's just a joke about how everyone calls us monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, maybe. Maybe. It's literally just a breathing a joke at the humans way in advance. The fact that they would, we would just randomly find it here. And back to yeah, Normandy. It's Rodians anyway. Well, we don't know a whole lot about them. Yes, exactly. That's oh. kind of the point. It, it could just be trolling. Well, that's another batch of random stuff done. Yep. Hope you'll have fun. And we'll see you next time. Later. <laughs>